fuck a best friend Nigga live in TTG and everything is still on flee Bad bitch rolling with me What is up you guys? I'm taking you guys with me on doing my lace front wig If you want to see my full method, check out my previous um, hair tutorial I did where I did put on my lace front wig from start to finish However today because I'm getting ready for work, I don't have time to show you all the steps. So if you need help with knowing step by step, look at the first hair tutorial video I ever did. And it says, hair tutorial, lace front, easy method for beginners. In the meantime, I'll be putting on my lace. I already installed my lace glue, which is this good stuff right here. Walker Ultra Hold. Sometimes I use... Got to be glue if I'm in a mood for it, or I will use bolt hole. But out of all the lace glues that I normally use, I would say the walker and bolt hole is like my ultimate favorite. So I'll be pulling it down a little bit over my actual hairline. That way I can get it properly secured. And if I do have excess lace, I can always cut it. And the method and key to this is basically is just to be really, really patient. Because the more patient you are, the best this wig will actually come out to look for you. And excuse the way I have my camera, like my stand broke. So I'm just having to do it what I can do it for right now. Just continue to pull on this side, line it up properly with your actual hairline and the glue. And if you don't have enough glue to secure a certain area, don't worry. Just wait for the um, rest of the glue to actually dry and then you can kind of dab and place where spots that is needed. This is my wig, and this wig actually comes from Dashley Hair, which I love Dashley Hair so much. Like, they have the best synthetic lace front wigs, and the lace is actually Swiss lace, and it comes ear to ear. In my case, because the part was like right here, and I didn't want a side part, I want the middle part, I'm not getting as much as the ear to ear as I would normally get. but. I, I'm still making it work because that's what I do when it comes to my hair. I make it work all the time. But yeah, like see for instance, with this side right here, I'll have to go back in and secure it with more glue. But I'm going to wait for all this to dry. I'll be putting it on the hair dryer to make it melt easier. And then I'll show you guys my next steps on how I do my lace front wigs. into working with my lace front wig I like to have my curls a little bit more looser than what it is for me I don't know if you guys can see this or not for me it's kind of bushy I don't like bushy and so yesterday I tried to use some um, curl cluster and for me it didn't really give it that wave I was looking for and more of a laid down look so right now it's all bushy. I'm feeling the Lion King and whatnot. So I'm going to try to unloosen these curls. And the way I do it is by using this flat iron here to unloose the curls but still keep the curl pattern and then reapply the curl cluster and see what happens.
So I'm just going to take the curling, not the curling, the um, flat iron and kind of just go through it quickly. That way it just loosens up. And you see how it kind of hangs now. So I'm going to do that into the entire hair just to loosen up the curls a bit. Still keeping my hair curly. It's just that I wanted to have it more of a loose curl than what I ha already have now. So that's the way I do it. Um, I've never done it on this particular type of wig before. So we're going to see how it works. And I have noticed, like, when you put product in synthetic wigs, it causes it to have more of a tangle to it. But also, I kind of like putting products in synthetic wigs because, for one, it's synthetic, and for two, I only plan on wearing it long. And as long as I get the look that I'm trying to achieve for the current moment, then that's just my main goal, is just to get the look that I'm trying to achieve for that, you know, short period of time. Because... A lot of times I don't wear my wigs over two weeks. After two weeks, I'm back in something different. Whether it's a different curl, or different um, color, different style, I'm never wearing it past two weeks anyway. So, there. I don't know if I'm going to hit it some more on this side, but so far, this is the difference. So I got this side that I just straightened, and then I had this side that I have not straightened. And can you see the difference? This side lays more, and this side is just more like, rawr, you know, and I don't like the rawr look. Even though it's cute, just on me, I'm really my fan of it. So this is what we're going to do, and I will do this again so you guys can see the other side, put the product in. And then I'll give you my finished look overall. Alright, so it's me. I'm going to start on that I'm not done yet. Again, just in case, if you're just going to back in your back to I'm going to loosen the curl pattern. I'm going to curl a lot looser by putting the hair straight onto the curls to get more of a long curl effect. And also the same down the thickness of the hair. Because I'm going to do my best way. 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 I'm my thoughts that's what I do but so far you can kind of see it starting to lay down a little bit better than it was and I'm just going to finish it and then give you guys my final look did promise you my after look so here it is this is my hair now and I love it so much it doesn't look as Lion Kingish as it was looking it has more of a softer wet look that I was going for so I hope you guys like my video make sure you thumbs it up subscribe to my channel comment below if you have any comments and I will see y'all on the wayside